Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my lead code videos. In this one, we'll do lead code 2259, remove digit from number to maximize result. So basically, we're given a number and a digit, and we're guaranteed that this digit exists in this number, right? And we need to remove one occurrence of this digit from the number to maximize the final result. So in this case, one, two, three, there's only one, three, so we have no choice, we remove that one. But in this case, one, two, three, one, there are two ones. So removing this one will give us a bigger number. It will give us two, three, one, and removing this one will only give us one, two, three. So we remove the first one and we return two, three, one. So I'll write down some more examples so we can develop our intuition. So if you look at this example, two, three, one, that was the one we just discussed. The next one, if we see the digit is five, right? So we have a choice of either removing this five or this five, and we should actually remove this five, right? Because that will give us three, four, six, five, two, which is greater than the alternative. If we remove the second five, three, four, five, six, two. So this one is greater, so we choose to remove this one. and. Over here, let's just run through this one. We would want to remove the last five, so we'll end up with one, five, four, three. Instead of the alternative, if we remove the first one, it would be one, four, three, five. So what's the pattern here? If you notice when, whenever we're evaluating, like, okay, should we remove this five, right? If, if we remove the five, the next one will take that place value, right? So in this case, it's a six. If we, keep the five, the five will take the place value, right? So since we want to maximize our place value, right? So we wanna make sure if we remove a five, we maximize it. We'll end up removing the, the five if the next one is greater, right? So if we'll go from the left to the right, but if the next one is greater, we definitely wanna remove that five because that means a bigger number will take its place value. And if there's no such number, right? So for example here, there's no such number where like the next one is bigger, right? Like let's say five is always bigger than the next number. That means replace, removing this five will always result in a loss. Then we just try to minimize our loss, right? So in which case we just remove the last one. So in this case, if you see, since if we removed five, four would have taken its place value that would have reduced the number. And so we try to, then take out the last five, right? And even if this was like, let's say five one, right? So taking out five here would have still um, reduced the value, right? Because we would replace this five place value with a one, but then we remove, since we have to remove at least one, we remove the last one because that has the lowest place value. So let's go ahead and write the code for this. So first we'll have a variable to remove, which will keep track of which index should we remove, right? And at the end, when we determine which index to remove, what we'll just do is number.substring 0, 2 remove. So this will take the left half before, everything before that number we want to remove, and the right half would be number.substring uh, to remove plus one up to the end of the string. Right, so that will take the right half of the string. And now let's just loop through the number. So here's our loop and now we should first determine if the current character of number is equal to our digit, right? Because then it's a potential candidate to remove. And initially we'll just set the to remove to this uh, index, right? Because every time we find a new one, we, we'd say that's what we'll remove and we'll keep going because at the end, the last one will have to remove equals i. But then if this, if this digit, if the next one is greater than the current one, then we just wanna break out because we wanna find, in the, in the normal case, we want to remove the last one, right? Because that will give us the least damage. But if this one actually has a neighbor which is greater than itself, then we just wanna go ahead and remove this one. So, so we have here if our next index is still less than number.length and the next index is greater than digit, 
then we'll just break because that means we found the first five where the next one is greater, right? So then that, that we'll just go ahead and to remove that. But otherwise, if we never find such uh, a neighbor, we'll always you know replace it. And then at the end, the last two remove will be removed. And so let's go ahead and run this and see how this does. Accepted, let's submit. Perfect. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.